Fundamentally, surges are high amplitude and high frequency waveform which dissipates high energy inside electrical and electronic systems. An effective installation of surge protection device, SPD, protects our power supplies data signal in our systems. Surge protection for a building is very important as per National Building Code 2016. To protect our electronic and electrical devices against excessively high kilo voltage peaks caused by natural lightning strikes and switching operations. According to IEC 62305, understanding of lightning protection zone is very important for an effective SPD selection for a proper surge energy coordination. Let's understand lightning protection zone of a building. The building has been differentiated with different lightning protection zone. Lightning protection zone 0A that is direct lightning strike refers to the danger zone outside the building. In this particular region it is beyond outside the lightning arrester and lightning can strike directly in this particular region. Lightning protection zone 0B refers to protected danger zone outside the building. Lightning protection zone 1 refers to a zone inside the building where high energy surge voltage represents a danger. Lightning protection zone 2 refers to a zone inside the building where low energy surge voltage represent a danger. And finally in lightning protection zone 3, surge voltage and other influences caused by the devices and cables themselves represent a danger. Now let's consider an industrial building. A building with external lighting protection system and grounding system connected to the electrical installation by bonding bus bars. Now different lightning protection zones in different parts of the building are shown in some with some color. Lightning protection zone you can see this greenish area which is uh, outside the building. Now the outer boundary of the building is with this bluish zone. Lightning protection zone 2 is this next level that is the yellow zone that is primarily the sub-distribution board of the building and the lightning protection zone 3 is the sensitive electrical and electronic equipment falling in this green zone. Let's understand the basic lightning protection zone from the screen. When you are moving from lightning protection zone 0 to Lightning protection zone 1, that is this pink outer boundary of the building, the recommendation is a type 1 power surge protection device. When you are going from lightning protection zone 1 to 2, that is a black T2, that is a type 2 surge protection device, here is a type 2 boundary that you can see which indicates the sub-distribution board of your building. When you are moving from lightning protection zone 2 to lightning protection zone 3, the recommendation is this green type 3 power surge protection device. You have to consider this green circle. Here all these sensitive electrical and electronic systems are installed and these devices need a type 3 surge protection device. Let's understand the type of SPD from the displayed sample over here. This white color three pole line to neutral and one pole neutral to earth is a FLT ACC series type 1 surge protection device which protects from the lightning surge and this is installed at the main distribution board. This black color four pole Volama series SPD is a type 2 surge protection device which used to protect from the switching surges and installed at the sub-distribution board. This single pole white color PLT ACC series SPD is a type 3 surge protection device and installed near a sensitive electrical and electronic system.
more information please visit to our website and stay connected for more informative product overview videos thank you